Hi, this screencast video will hopefully show you how to set up and use autocorrect in Microsoft Word 2007. Um, the autocorrect feature in Microsoft Word automatically corrects some common spelling and capitalization errors as you type. Um, you can also use autocorrect to insert uh, repeatedly used text which kind of saves you the trouble of typing it in full every time. So let's take a look at how to set up um, autocorrect and how to insert your own um, words and text into autocorrect. So to open it up, you need to go up here to the word button, click on that, go down to word options, and in the word options dialog box, you want to select proofing and then the autocorrect options dialog box. So in the autocorrect dialog box, you've got um, some check boxes at the top here. Uh, most of those deal with capitalization and how autocorrect will correct capitalization mistakes. You want to go through those and select the ones um, that you want and deselect the ones you don't. The only one I don't usually select is capitalizing the first letter of table cells because I don't always want those capitalized. Always make sure you have the replaced text as you type box checked because that will allow autocorrect to make corrections in your text as you're going through and typing. But sort of the key feature of autocorrect um, is this section down here where you can replace uh, misspellings or strings of letters with correct spellings or whatever text you choose. So let's start with a misspelling and you want to replace, uh, let's say you often misspell the word ignore and you often spell it uh, with an O instead of an I and you spell it Ognor. So we'll say replace Ognor with the correct spelling which is ignore. We'll just type that in there, hit the add button and we're set. Now I know you're pretty excited about that but it gets even better. Let's say uh, you're a lousy typist like me and you don't you use the word Vancouver a lot and you don't want to type it out all the time. So you can set up a string of a couple of letters that when you type them in, autocorrect will automatically type in Vancouver. So let's just say, for instance, um, and you want to use letters that aren't words or wouldn't be used any other time. So a fairly obscure set of letters. So let's type VN because I don't think that would be used anywhere. Um, and every time I type in VN, I want autocorrect uh, to replace that with Vancouver. And then you can see I can't spell it properly myself. So that looks good. VN gets replaced with Vancouver. We're going to add that to the list but there's even more. So we can replace a word, but we can also have autocorrect uh, insert an entire sentence. So let's say we often um, use the sentence, the uh, quick brown, don't know why we would often use this sentence, but maybe you do. Fox jumped over the lazy dog and we want uh, autocorrect, let me just fix that here. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. We want autocorrect to insert that every time we type in the letters, um, let's just make it easy, ZXC. So we will add that to the list. So that's how you set it up. Um, you can type in as many of those as you would like. Uh, you just have to remember what the letter strings are, but you can always come back to this dialog box to take a look. So now let's take a look at how autocorrect functions when you have inserted your words. Um, so we click on OK, click on OK, and let's go in here and what was the first one? It was Ognor, so if we type in Ognor, autocorrect will correct that to Ignore. Uh, next was Vancouver, so we'll just type in VN, presto Vancouver, and then the third one was getting autocorrect to put in um, an entire sentence. If we type in ZXC, we get the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And like I say, you can put as many of those in there as you'd like, which will hopefully speed up your typing, especially if you uh, type like I do. Thank you very much.